I'm a die-hard fan of the regular cutoff wheel, but recently I found myself picking up the Eastwood 3-inch adjustable head cutoff tool, and before I knew about this, I'd have said, what do you need that for? But now I exclusively use this tool. I think everybody should. Let me tell you why. So big advantage is that the head of this guy swivels 25 degrees up or down, and that allows you to reach into a tighter spot. That's more helpful than I thought because I wasn't factoring in my air hose and fitting. All of that is attached to the body of the tool and that adds a few inches to the back and being able to route that out of the way and still get a perfectly perpendicular cut in your material is very handy. All you have to do is flip this little lever here and the head will swivel up or down pretty quick and easy. Now there are a few other controls on this thing. This one right here allows you to reverse the direction of the wheel, so if you're cutting near paint, windshield glass, or in my case sometimes a video camera, you can fly sparks in the total opposite direction of the fragile stuff around you. There's also a regulator knob here that allows you to fine tune the speed of your wheel. I tend to keep that on high because just like a regular cutoff wheel, you can control your speed with the paddle trigger down here but the adjustment is nice to have. One thing I also really like is that the bottom of this spins around 360 degrees, and that allows you to deflect exhaust air, which is a nice touch. You can aim it at your face for a nice cool breeze if you want, or you can aim it away from the bench so that it doesn't blow around all of your small hardware. Very nice. Build quality with this thing is really nice. You have a very nice aluminum and composite housing on this. Now the aluminum, nice and lightweight and durable, and the composite on there, that helps keep your hand warm from the cold air during extended use. And of course, Eastwood also backs this with a one-year warranty. Now it does share some stats with the other standard cutoff wheels, which isn't a bad thing. Runs a 3 8 inch arbor, takes a 3 inch wheel, takes 90 PSI to spin it up to 16,000 RPM, and it features a 4 vane ball bearing motor, so it's no louder than a standard cutoff wheel. And the guard does come off, don't recommend doing that, but it does if you want to. And if you want to keep it on, it rotates 360 degrees to shield sparks in any orientation. Press the button to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're giving away a MIG 180 welder at 500,000 subscribers. Also, make sure you check out our channel. We post tons of great how-to content over there. You're definitely going to want to see. We'll have the adjustable head cutoff tool linked below. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm JD. Make sure you keep it right here at Eastwood to do the job right.